Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Today we will talk about pathology in the oral cavity. The tumor, benign tumors of the oral cavity, they are divided into bina, the solid and cystic masses. And uh, one of the cystic pathology we will talk about today. And this is called ranula. It is a type of mucosal that occurs in the floor of the mouth below the tongue. It is the most common disorder which is associated with sublingual gland ducts and it is higher mucin content in the secretions compared to the other salivary glands. Ranulas can be caused by trauma to the delicate sublingual gland ducts causing them to rupture and then the mucin collects within the connective tissue to form a cyst. Ranula is a mucus extravasation cyst involving a sublingual gland and it is a type of mucosal found on the floor of the mouth. Ranula presents as a swelling of connective tissues consisting of collecting collected mucin from a ruptured salivary gland which is caused by a local trauma. Ranula is derived from the Latin word. In Latin, rana means frog and ula meaning little. So this is basically a frog's underbelly. Mucosal of the floor of the mouth. Most ranulas, they usually originate from the salivary glands, mainly the sublingual gland but they can also develop from the secretions of the submandibular gland duct or minor salivary glands which are scattered on the floor of the mouth. On examination they are spherical or dome shaped in appearance, translucent blue color appearance it is also called frog belly appearance that's the basically the origin of its name latin words ranula it can cause due to its size the elevation of the tongue it is slowly enlarging swelling on the floor of the mouth away from the midline so it occupies the lateral part of the uh, floor of the mouth and it can cause difficulty in speech are eating by hampering the movement of the tongue due to their size. The lesion generally occurs due to trauma, but it can occur due to sialolith, congenital duct obstruction, stenosis, periductal fibrosis, fibrosis are the any tumor there at the floor of the mouth. They are clear bluish cysts caused by a blocked salivary glands. There are mainly three types. One is simple ranula that is present at the floor of the mouth and it is confined to the sublingual gland. Then is cavernous or branching type of ranula which have got pseudopodia, finger-like projections. And these ramifications, they are in the different planes of the soft tissues of the face. Then there is diving or plunging ranula which occurs when a simple ranula ruptures and this rupture triggers the formation of a pseudocyst that extends into the neck through a defect of the mylohyde muscle and this causes a mass in the submandibular space. So here you can see on the floor bluish tinged cystic swelling away from the midline. This is the midline formed by the lingual frenulum. So it is away from the midline on the lateral side at the floor of the mouth. Another bluish tinged just like a frog belly. This is the lingual frenulum more clear in this picture. This is the third type that is the plunging type that one part will be there intraorally and the other part is in the cervical region below the chin. 
and this is cavernous type or branching type i was talking about just like finger like projections and these finger like projections will be going into uh, different facial planes so diagnosis is clear cut typical history slowly progressing swelling which is present on the lateral side of the floor of the oral cavity and uh, it is dome shaped or spherical in shape with bluish tinge just like a frog belly still we can go for mri and on this radiographic images we can see especially the plunging type uh, sorry plunging type and uh, cavernous type that how much is the extent and if still in doubt we can go for fine needle aspiration and fine needle aspiration especially if there is a mass in the cervical region only then by its high amylase count and there will be high protein also in the fluid for the after chemical analysis which will indicate the inflammatory cells within the mucus in the differential diagnosis close contestant is the dermoid cyst so as we know dermoid cyst occurs in the midline or where there is fusion of the embryonic lines so usually it is in the midline but ranula is away from the midline secondly the dermoid cyst will look like a whitish mass it will be whitish in color while the ranula is just like a frog belly bluish tinge is there then mucosal mucosal in the oral cavity it is smaller in size it is a mucus retention cyst and the commonest site for mucosal is inner side of the lower lip mostly though it can occur on the tongue also and on the floor of the mouth then we know that warthen's duct it opens on the side of the lingual frenulum on the floor of the mouth so a calculus there in the submandibular duct can be included in the differential diagnosis also then any benign or malignant tumors of the oral cavity involving the floor of the mouth can traumatize the duct of the minor salivary glands or the sublingual duct leading to the ranula or there can be a confusion between the two ludwig's angina as we know it is an acute infection of the submandibular space and it will be associated with constitutional symptoms while the ranula is a mm, slowly progressing mass without any constitutional symptoms treatment it will depend upon the type of ranula and still many methods have been used basically surgical intervention is required for the treatment of ranula some people have gone just for simply incision and drainage then some others they adopted marsupialization marsupialization is that just incising the cyst and then the two edges they are everted are lateralized and stitched there so that this cyst remains open at the floor of the mouth and any secretions of the salivary glands they will be coming and from here they can be drained to the floor of the mouth for the formation of saliva so there will be no retention of secretions then excision of the ranula it is successful in case of simple ranula which is confined to the floor of the mouth and uh, there it can easily be removed but uh, in case of uh, cavernous type or in case of plunging type sometimes excision becomes difficult then excision of the ranula with excision of the sublingual salivary gland that is the most successful procedure laser ablation and cryo surgery have also been used alone or after marsupialization to treat the ranulas so as i said surgery is the first choice of therapy for plunging ranula and for cavernous ranula but it is associated with of course technical difficulties morbidity and the recurrence and sometimes it is not possible to excise the ranula completely because of its thin wall or ramifications in various tissue planes especially in cavernous type so then intracystic sclerosing agents like ok 432 that is picibinal has been used as a sclerotherapy 
Now from the recurrence rate after all these procedures, you may have a very good idea that which procedure should usually be adopted. For example, in case of incision and drainage, 70 to 100 percent is the recurrence rate. So it means it is almost a complete failure as far as the treatment is concerned, this incision and drainage. In marsupialization still 60 to 90 percent is the recurrence rate. While ranula excision, especially it is successful 100 percent in cases of simple ranula which is confined to the floor of the mouth and in other types there may be a recurrence rate chances are one fourth that is 25 percent. Marsupialization with packing somebody have some people have tried over the over different centers and they claim that it is also very successful from 0 to 12 percent is only the recurrence rate but still these are the limited studies and we have to wait for long term results. Complete excision of the ranula with the sublingual gland excision that is the most successful treatment for ranula and there are only chances of less than 2 percent recurrence rate. So this is uh, part one as far as ranula is concerned and if you find it beneficial then please like, share and subscribe the channel. In part two I will try to discuss uh, some MCQs and SCQ regarding uh, ranula. So please subscribe so that you can get in time notification. Thank you very much for watching.